My name is Michael Wisniewski. I work on audio and sound development at Audi's sound department and focus mainly on DSP and algorithmics. I've been at Audi for 12 years. We perform sound tuning. We investigate how components and algorithmics function in the car, and we check and verify a function in the in-car environment in order to ultimately sell it to the customer. You can compare sound tuning to a guitar. Fitting the loudspeakers is actually comparable to the body of the guitar. The rough tuning is comparable to thinking which strings shall I use to define the sound I want to make. Up to the point where the artist is standing on the stage tuning their instrument, we're talking about fine tuning. We use the reference room to really assess what the music's about, what the artist wants to convey with their music, so that later we can determine whether the car is tuned in a way that enables the customer to truly hear what the musician wanted to express. The reference room is set up in such a way that it creates as little reflection as possible from the walls, ceiling and floor, so as to reproduce the piece of music as faithfully as possible. In the acoustically dead room, we can check in a defined way whether the frequency response of a loudspeaker is just as we specified it should be. Compared with an ordinary room, the advantage of an acoustically dead room is that we don't have any backward reflections, and that when measuring loudspeakers, genuinely only the direct sound of the component to be tested is measured. As well as measuring frequencies in the acoustically dead room, we use a laser measuring system that helps us determine the loudspeaker's other parameters. At the desk, we check everything for obvious errors. I can repeat a lot of the measurements at the desk to check for formal accuracy and also whether what we verified in sound tuning has later on been applied to the component. In the climate chamber, we test various components such as loudspeakers, as well as amplifiers at high or extremely low temperatures. The effect of the extreme temperatures on the components, for instance, includes the bead of a loudspeaker becoming hard when cold. That alters its sound characteristic as well as its phase or if high temperatures might cause an amplifier simply to shut down. We need to take steps to prevent that. We use the microphone arrays more for technical measurement, because the arrays of eight microphones offer us a bigger spatial range. For instance, we use them to measure an in-vehicle delay at the various loudspeakers. The dummy head has the advantage that it includes the ears. I can record what someone will hear in practice and listen to that on my headphones. We also use it wherever we want to check speech intelligibility or look at the documentation, the procedure, because we then get reproducible results. We use the sound lab to measure everything for which we need a car, for realistic in-car conditions, with the loudspeakers in the right position so that in the car I can really hear what the artist wanted to express with his music. <laughs>